October 30th, 1 p.m., the New England Patriots are going to get their revenge on the Buffalo Bills. Joe's up to you, too. It's your boy, the great picture here. DGP back again with another episode of Patriots Keys. This is episode 15, y'all. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about the keys to victory this week. Uh, this is kind of, I wouldn't say a revenge game, but, I mean, if you want to look at it like that, because we did play just about a month ago for week four. Uh, if you guys didn't know, Brady was suspended for the first four games, and that was actually our only and first loss of the season. We lost 16-0. to uh, but it's mainly because we didn't play our game plan. So let's get into the injury report. This week, Martellus Bennett, Collins, Lando Roberts, and our two back of defensive tackles, Hamilton and Valentine. All five of these guys are questionable. Some more questionable than others, like Bennett and Collins, but we'll see. For the Bills, uh, Marquise Goodwin is out with a concussion. Uh, LaShawn McCoy is doubtful with a hamstring injury. Marcel Darius is questionable, but he said he will play this game. And Zach Brown, the beast from week four for the Bills, is questionable with an illness. So... Also, injury news, Deion Lewis uh, came, he's on a, a PUP list. He has about 21 days for us to make a decision whether to cut him or cut somebody else for the roster. So that's going to be interesting, especially with the emergence of James White. We'll see how that unfolds. Let's get into the first key. Major key. Yo, we got to have these two-headed monsters. Both tight ends must eat. Now, what I mean by that is week four, uh, Gronkowski played, but he did, I think he, that's when he got his first catch. Only got one catch for 11 yards. Martellus Bennett, week four, five receptions, 109 yards. That's pretty much why the game was uh, close as it is. And since Brady's been back, Gronkowski has 364 yards. So if we can get both of these guys going, I feel like they can't stop us. And I feel like this is uh, a lot for a lot of games, but more so this, especially with Rex Ryan knowing how to get pressure to Tom Brady. Now let's get to the second one. Major key. Yo, we got to convert our third down now. Again, I know we didn't have Brady. We had Brissett, and he was also hurt as well. But um, week four, one to 12. That's 8% on third down. We only got one third down in week four. Now, again, we have Tom Brady. Things are going to change. But like I said earlier before, they're going to create pressure. So we're going to be, have to be able to get off on third down. Because, again, when you go one for 12, only get one third down the whole game, uh, you're, you're not winning the game. I would say nine times out of ten, but ten, ten times out of ten, you only get one third down the whole game, you're not winning. So let's get into the last key to victory. Major key. Protect the football. And this isn't just fumbles. I'm talking about... I've seen so many drops from Edelman, fumbles from Hogan. I'm tired of us just losing the football, and you too, LeGarrette Blunt. We have a total of 14 fumbles this year. We only lost about five, but total 14 fumbles. That matches last year's totals. And in week four, we had five fumbles, and one of them was a lost fumble. So we really have to protect the football. Belichick has been putting emphasis on that for the past a week or two. So I'm sick and tired of these drops. I'm sick and tired of these fumbles. We have to to be able to protect the football. Now, uh, you see the three keys up. I feel like we are going to win this game. Uh, you know, Brady's revenge tour is still going on again. Uh, if LaShawn McCoy doesn't play, that's going to help us out a lot because, again, their offense isn't that potent. It's mainly on LaShawn McCoy in the run game. And if they can't run the ball, I'd rather have Tyrod Taylor try to beat us, and I don't think he can do that. But let me know you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, I got a series coming up, a new series coming up for you guys next week. And uh, I'll catch you later on that series. Peace.